true faith cannot be separated from works of righteousness. They are inseparable. Yet many Christians today believe that they can pit faith against works as if they are both warring for salvation. But faith and works are one in the same thing if it is true faith. That is why in James chapter 2, James says that faith without works is like the body without the spirit. It is dead. You cannot have one without the other. Christians today are very misled. Those Christians who believe in the easy grace gospel think that you can have faith without works. And they will say, oh, if you really love God, you will know that it's not faith with works. You will have works as a byproduct, but that isn't proving your salvation. They are deceived because they are pitting faith against works as if they're both trying to achieve salvation. Salvation is in Jesus, and if you have real faith, you will have works. Faith and works are not two warring brothers that are pitted against each other. They're not separate entities. They are one in the same. You can't separate them. If you do not have the works of righteousness, you don't have good fruit. It isn't just a byproduct to have good works. If you don't have good works, then you do not have faith. If you do not have works, you don't have good fruit. And Jesus said, either make the fruit good because the tree is good or make the tree bad and all its fruit bad. So it's not just a byproduct. These Christians will say, oh no, you're saying that we're saved by works. No one can be saved by works, least he boast. But they miss one thing. And that is that faith comes with works of righteousness. You can't separate them. It's not just a byproduct, but it is its identity. If you are not practicing righteousness, if you do not have good fruit, you are not a child of God, but you're going to be cut off. Because all of those who are producing bad fruit or not producing are cut off and thrown into the fire. Either you have good fruit because you have repented of your sins and you're with Jesus, or you have bad fruit and you're still sinning. Have you been set free from sin when you repented? Have you received the Holy Spirit? And are you really in the grace of Jesus? Or have you believed the fake, easy gospel lie that is, it's by grace, it's by faith without works? Oh, works are just a little byproduct that some people have. You know, if God asks me to give up pornography, if I give it up, that's the byproduct of loving God. But if I don't give it up, hey, I'm still saved. That is a lie. If you go on sinning, you will perish. You need to either repent of your sins and follow Jesus and bear good fruit, or be cut off. Either repent or perish. May the grace of Jesus be with you.